and we are doing a lot of work together already uh, to drive in a positive direction. Uh, we're, we're, we're driving climate action uh, as partners in the Global Methane Coalition. We're pushing for permanent representation for African voices in the UN Security Council, in other international organizations uh, that need to reflect the realities of today, not just the day that they were uh, created many, many years ago. Um, we're working and collaborating to support the development and use of artificial intelligence for good. With 30 other Atlantic countries, we're driving blue economic development, environmental protection, science and technology exchange through a new partnership for Atlantic cooperation. Uh, today, uh, as the foreign minister mentioned, with President Tanubu, with the foreign minister uh, and other colleagues, uh, we spoke about a range of common priorities, uh, including our focus on accelerating economic growth and opportunity here in Nigeria. Uh, this is a place of extraordinary innovation, extraordinary dynamism. I've had the opportunity to visit many times over, uh, over the years. I've seen that each and every time, and I expect to see more of that in Lagos tomorrow. Uh, American entrepreneurs, American companies are eager to partner with and invest in Nigeria's economy, particularly uh, in the tech sector. We have tech giants that are teamed up with Nigerian partners to help meet President Tinubu's One Million Digital Jobs Initiative. Uh, other companies are hard at work laying undersea cables, uh, using satellite technology to expand access to the internet. Our tech incubators are fostering uh, Nigeria's next startups, our venture capital companies are working to finance them. So we want to work in partnership to help drive Nigeria's technological revolution, which is creating jobs, it's growing businesses, and it's spurring innovations in both of our countries. Because one of the things we've learned from these partnerships is that uh, it benefits us as much as uh, any place or any company that we're uh, investing in. Uh, we're learning a lot from it. We're getting a lot from it. Uh, and one of the initiatives that President Biden laid out, the Digital Transformation with Africa initiative, we see as particularly um, uh, energized and it's a particular area of focus for us. Now, Nigeria offers real, clear, compelling opportunities for investors. At the same time, I think it's no secret that there remain some long-term challenges that need to be overcome to really unlock the full potential. Um, tackling corruption, making it easier for foreign companies to repatriate capital, these will all pull in a transformative direction and pull in transformative direction, uh, investment. Uh, I know that President Tinubu is focused on these challenges, and we also welcome his very bold economic reforms to unify the currency and, and fuel subsidies. We also recognize that in the short term, these reforms created pain for vulnerable communities. Um, I spoke about some ways that the United States can support Nigerians while the government carries out these essential reforms and works to protect those who may, again, in the short term, uh, be negatively affected.